uh, when you're encapsulated in the EMU, you, there's things you can see and things you can't see. Down here, we can't see. So it's all done by feel. So here, if we're going to go perform any kind of maintenance or whatever, or we're in a tool belt, we can just look down, grab our tools. And, uh, in the EMU, you have a limited viewing area. So we want to have all the tools out in front of them. So th this is basically our tool belt, if you will. But it's called a uh, modular mini workstation. And this thing does a lot of cool things. Um, it's got these slide locks in it. And this is actually where we can lock tools into. It's got this end effector that's retractable. And also a lock it. This is just for a quick grab on. Uh, not really ready to hold the seat in place. And another thing that's on over here, this is actually the cable. It's part of the string. And so this comes back in, but we also have the ability to press this button. This whole thing will fold down. And these little funny looking rings right here are called tether points. And mm -hmm. we will get to that right now. So if I have a tool that I'm using, these two things it's going to have. Have, all of our tools have tether points. This is a tether. This is called a retractable equipment tether. That so, steel cable on it? Yeah. Well, that's not. It. Yeah. <laughs> we use everything here is mostly mostly string because we use it in the water. You know, okay. the cable. It uh, tends to be a little rusty or whatnot. Plus, plus the maintenance. Uh, these tools are in and out of the water all the time, almost every day. Actually. They, take, they, get, they get weekends off. <laughs> but other than that, they're in all the time. So this would be a tether point. So this would be, this would lock in here. So that's locked in and tethered. And then that's primarily how they would translate. Uh, if they're going to use the tool, they would just slide this lock out, push the tool out, and then go to use it. But it stays in this tether. And if I was going to pass it off to him in orbit, if I had this tool in orbit, him to have it, I would unlock the slide, pull it out. What's the, what's the first thing you do? You t um, I'm already tethered. Tethered to the tether. 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 Okay. Once you're tethered to it, I would then say, you have control? And he says yes, and then you would take and then it. I tether on. So it's never untethered. That's so the protocol. Uncomfortable question. The, the one, uh, two. two. <laughs> Well, the one that the one that's got the most press. What 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 failed in the procedure? As far as the bag floating out? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you just said it. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it obviously failed, it wasn't. I think what we had discovered was through. that when she opened the doors to the toolbox, she was moving tools aside to reach, and the bag floated out. And <sighs> we we really think what the problem was is that it didn't get properly tethered. It was put in the last right. time. Mm -hmm. okay. And that is with all the hooks floating around in there. There's tons of these floating around in there. It's easy to think you tethered something when actually you may have tethered that. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're thinking what happened. Well, we had another tool that we got lost. A good friend of mine by the name of Jim Ross. Um, he was using his new 6000 series gloves, Jerry Ross. And he lost a ratchet. Right. It floated off. We know what happened there. Now, they just 